And welcome back guys to part 2 of my Fire Emblem The Sealed Sword Let's Play. And we're going straight into this because I've just started where I left off. Doing a few videos today because nothing else to do really, simply put. I'm going to throw straight in here and where were we again? Oh yeah, we just started heading towards the Burn Lycia border because we're preparing for war because our father sent us off because we are only about 14, 15 years old. That's the perfect time for a good war. Okay, so let's go straight into it. What I'm asking is where the princess is. Yes, Captain Melody. Melody. I'm certain she was in her room this morning. I've heard that enough times. What I want to know is where the princess is at this moment. Man, I'm so sexist, I swear. Not all girls sound like this. Um, she the... We're almost going on head on war with Lysa. What if something happens to the princess? Can't you take responsibility? Mm. I knew I never should let Her Majesty go down to the border in the first place. I would return to Bern and inform the king about this matter. I'll try not to make it into a panic, so you must find the princess as soon as possible. Yes, ma'am. Is Princess Guinevere still with us? Yes, sir. She's on a constant monitoring in a basement room. Good, don't let her escape. So, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry, Burn has plenty of enemies. The younger sister of Burn will be sure to get a hefty amount of money by turning her into one of their foes. Hmm. We're not going to make it anywhere by serving our country anyway. So we're better off thinking of ways of making money fast, no? Yes, of course, sir. But there is one little problem with that plan. What do you mean? I just received a report. It seems this Gwyn Princess Guinevere's servant has escaped. What? You fool! Why didn't you say so earlier? Go search for her immediately! Do not let her get away! Yes, sir. I'll just run this way and Oh god, look all my friends are here. And here we go. Must the right around. Actually, I need to think of a voice of Merlin, sorry. Uh must the right, must must the right. Must the right. It's around here somewhere! This is where we're supposed to meet the mercenary band? Yes, though it seems. They aren't here yet. Oh wait, I can see somebody running this way. Well hello. Please the lady. Watch out! Oh, excuse me, I was in a hurry. No, it's alright, I'm fine, but are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. It's good that you're not hurt. Oh, you're not, you are from Lycia, are you not? Uh, yes, I am the son of Duke of Foray. Oh, dear God, thank you for your guidance. Question mark? Please, could you help me rescue my mistress? What happened? My mistress and I were traveling to meet someone from the Lycia Alliance. However, while we were passing through here, we fell into a trap set by Rude. Oh, how rude. Terribly, terribly rude. The Lord of the Turks, just east of here. We were captured. Master Roy, we must not get into unnecessary entanglements with Burn now. But we can't neglect a person who has come to meet someone from the lights. But it isn't smart to charge into enemy fields either. Hmm, ellipsis, exclamation mark. There they are. Hey guys, over here, get the servant girl. It doesn't matter whether she's dead or alive, because it's an absolutely terrible game. It's actually probably really good, I just haven't played it. Oh no! Well, man, let's dare attack first. We have to fight, don't we? You won't play ahead of me now, will you? I guess I can be witness to how much you have learned in Ostia. Alright, we're going to charge the castle. Miss Ellen, can you hide someplace safe? No, I will accompany you. I cannot fight, but I can heal wounded allies. Oh, but... I'm the one you got you tangled in this mess. Please, let me be of some help. Okay, but please, don't strain yourself. Yes, thank you for your consideration. Okay, here we go. Battle number two. Duh. I just actually failed my French reset. <laughs> How depressing. Alright, uh, Marcus, once again, you will be our ambassador and you will go visit this village. Oh, another voice. Jesus Christ, I thought I was done with that. I'm actually not going to do, outside of battle, outside of the cutscenes, I'm not going to do voices, just because it's, it's a real strain, picking up voices and trying to stick to them. Oh, you really saved us. If, if those people got into our village, I don't know what would have happened to this precious sword. I was really scared. So they gave it to us? Jesus Christ. I might actually give that to Roy. Um, how many knights are in this battle? There's just the one, so I'm guessing that's just specifically for the boss. Alright, what I'm going to do here is... How wide is this? That's by three. I'm going to do a strategy I normally do. First off, you can have a go at him. Oh, you can actually kill him one hit. 
Good going. Well, maybe soldiers. I know that the soldiers aren't a unit you actually get. Soldiers are just like generics, so they're actually probably a lot weaker than most. I think the only game where you can get soldiers in is Radiant Dawn. I think so, yeah, because you get, um, oh, what is his name? Green hair. A uh, member of the... Oh, you can get them in the first game as well, part of Radiance, but I never played that one. I can't remember his name. Green hair. Quite funny, though. I liked him. He was called Aaron. That's it, Aaron. I liked Aaron. Alright, what I'm going to make do here is make a wall. That way I'll keep my, um... Oh, damn, I can't finish the wall. Hmm. I'm pretty sure he can't get to wall anyway. Nah, he'll never get past that. I'll put balls here, just in case. Nope, not there. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, it's really hard getting used to the controls. I'll put balls here. Merlinus. Here we have Merlinus, who's the one terrible, terrible voice I gave. Uh, he is like, he's our, um, he's actually very useful now that he's in, uh, I'm used to him being a temp, but in this he's very useful because he's a wagon, and what he's going to do, he's going to be like a convoy, like, holding all our items and stuff. So we can actually send him to this armory here, or the shop even, and he's going to pick us up some stuff, because we got all that money in the last episode. So he'll be our, like, supply, supply man. Alright. Let's attack him, Roy, and he will hit, oh, I made a mistake, I didn't think there'd be lancers. For some reason I thought my, the lancers would be axes, so I thought I'd be safe. Well, I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's only two lancers. And I'm pretty sure no one can get to Roy now, because that other unit is actually taking up the space needed to attack him. So he'll be fine, he'll be fine. Uh, are these attacksmen actually going to be able to attack even? Nope, I don't think so. Um, that way, that way. Oh, he can, he's got hand axe. Oh, it doesn't matter, his is terribly, terribly, terribly... Terrible range. <laughs> Not terrible range, a terrible chance to hit. Oh, hello. Now we have new units. Oh, this guy looks strong. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to voice him. This guy's going to be around for a while, I reckon, so I should give him a good voice. Although he won't be in many cutscenes. I'll give him a manly voice. Can I do a manly voice? Manly, manly. I'm trying to think of someone manly I can do an impression of. Uh, come on, give me a voice, guys. Give me a voice. Someone manly. Dean Winchester. I'll do Dean Winchester. Um, that's, I'm not going to say you're under an accent stuff, because now it's going to sound terrible. They should be around us somewhere. That's not too much. It's a Jesus. Thaney. Because <laughs> you go around and see if the Frey army is around here. Sure. <laughs> I think I just broke my own voice. Deck. Deck, who's our client this time? The Frey family of the Dukes of Lycia. The Duke's son is going to join the Lycia Alliance. So weird to go up against Bar and that's what it looks like. A worthy opponent tried to sow some skill, eh? Baron, this one is going to be tough, you better be careful. I think I found them, but it looks like they're fighting somebody down there. What? A battle's already started, we'd better hurry. That wasn't meant to be Dean Winchester, by the way. I got I don't even know how he sounds. How does Dean Winchester sound? Sammy, Sammy, how you doing? Sammy, you you touch my impaler and I, I will kill you. I will not be happy, I sent you straight back to hell. You know, make you Crowley's little bitch. <laughs> I love Supernatural. Crowley. Car Crowley and Castiel. Favorite guys by far. Okay, let's start attacking these fighters, because they're gonna... Oh god, I was about to say they're never gonna be able to hit me, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit them either. Hand axes are quite useful there. They're the ranged axe weapons. Like, javelins are the ranged spear weapons. Hand axes are the ranged axe weapons. And they're, they're kind of thrown cool, they're like a boomerang type thing. So they're, they're very cool. Alright, let's take out this guy. Actually, well, this one is the only weaker. Oh, no, not you. Oh, they're about the same anyway. Alright, let's take you out. The fighters are bothering me a bit more than the soldiers, because the soldiers pack a punch, but they will die incredibly quickly. Alan, you can... I'm actually going to give boars a bit. But actually, no, I'm not going to use boars very much as soon as I get enough units. I know a knight would be handy, but Hey, nice one, Alan. That is a critical strike, and they look awesome. They look awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm not. I'm just gonna, not going to use balls. I know a knight would be handy, but maybe I'll get another knight. I don't know who, because I haven't played this game in God knows how long, but it just doesn't interest me. I'd rather have fun than, than have play of the strong units, because I know the units at the start are normally a lot stronger than some of the promoted units you get. But maybe I just don't fancy... Hang on, these guys both have hand axes, don't they? They've only got one. I don't think that's enough to kill Ellen, so I'll put her here. And I'll tell you what, I'll write a save state here. And if she does get in trouble, I'll put boars down here so they can't reach her. Merlinus, I'm going to send you to the shop. And you can have a gander around. What have we got? A vulnerary. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. I'll buy a few of these, because at some point they might be handy. 
And then Marcus, you're going to come down here and deliver that armor slayer to Roy at some point. Um, okay. And I think that's... Oh, no, I've got these guys. I forgot who I have. I have Deck. Cool, Deck. Nice name. Deck. Deck. Uh, Ward. Cool name, Ward. I like that. And we have Lot. Lot, Ward, and Deck. <laughs> Uh, we normally, in most Fire Emblem games, you get two fighters from the off. And it's a question of which one would we rather use. I know one is probably stronger than the other, or I know that like, it's got a high level, that doesn't mean nothing. One guy will probably get better stacks than the other, but at the moment... Okay, so it looks like he's a bit stronger, but he's got much more skill and speed. He's a bit luckier. He's got more, more defense, he's got more constitution. So he's a bit, probably a bit stronger, but he's probably a bit faster. I'm going to use them both equally for the moment, because I'm not particularly... Ooh, he's got an Iron Blade as well, that's pretty strong. But an Iron Sword will probably take him out anyway, so I'll just stick with that. And this is a Mercenary unit. Mercenary units are really cool, look at them. And Jump, look at that animation, really cool. A very, very Cloud Strife type character, very, very cool. I do love Mercenaries. In the other Fire Emblem game, Fire Emblem 7, you get... You get much, you get the mastery much, much later. Um, all right, what do you have? You have a hammer. I'm guessing you have a hand axe, probably. Oh, and you have a steel axe as well. Do you have a steel axe? No, you have an iron axe. So this guy's the armory, so and this guy's just more like a handyman. A bit of good both. And this is a Pegasus knight, Thaney. <laughs> I don't know why I keep laughing at that. She's a spear user. Slim lances. That's what most Pegasus knights seem to use. They're very fast units. Um, is there any way I can stand that only one of these will attack me? Okay, there. There, there. Where that little, like, quite terrifying face is. Okay, so you can go there. Boars, I'll move you a bit closer. Alright, and now one of them might attack Fanny because she's a weak unit. Because I want to get her a bit of experience. Ah, miss. Yep. Oh god, Deck is... Deck is a machine. Oh, critical hit. Look at that go. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to be using deck because mercenary is a cool class and I think you'll probably get very few other mercenaries in this game. And let's see how Ward fares. Okay, Ward does quite well. It just seems like these guys have terrible accuracy. Oh, he's quite fast as well, considering he was the slower of the two. So I can imagine a lot. Is it a lot? Yeah, I think it's a lot. It's going to rip them to shreds. What I am going to be doing in this Let's Play is I am going to be making a lot of comparisons to Fire Emblem 7 because... Fire Emblem 7 I have actually played all the way through and I think most people do know it. If you're watching this game, you can you probably have watched Fire Emblem, you played or watched Fire Emblem Seven at some point. It's a very no game, and for people that are big fans of these strategy type games, a lot of people probably know and played it. So I'm going to be making a lot of comparisons. I'm going to be talking about children because this game is obviously set after Fire Emblem Seven, but going to be talking about children and stuff like that. At least the ones I know about, because I plan I'll, I'll do research on this game, but I don't plan to like in-depth look at everything. Like I said, I'm just playing this game for fun. Alright, Walt, you take him out. Oh, god damn it, Walt. You had one job, one job. And you had 63% chance of doing that job. Alright, fine, leave it to Lance. <laughs> that should be like a catchphrase or something. Leave it to Lance. Lance will get it done. Oh god, I haven't started my timer. Okay, I don't know how long I've been in this game. Probably about 15 minutes, so I'll just shave off 10 minutes. Okay, you can go this way. Actually, no. I'll use Roy. Roy needs to give me a bit of experience, actually. Fanny. Fanny, Fanny, Fanny. Is Fanny one of Roy's love interests in this game? I have no idea. Because you make your own love interest through support conversations. I might see if I can give Roy a love interest, but... I think he's the only one that has changed endings from support conversations, so we'll have to see it. Alright. Come on, Roy. Dish out the damage. Yeah, you go. You madman. His battle animation does look really cool, though. He does actually look a bit like Sam Winchester in game. Alright, Dick. Go on, kick some ass. Kick some dick. Kick him in the dick. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. Seriously. Alright, kicked his ass. Get some experience. What level is Dyak, anyway? Well, level 5. Okay, he's pretty strong. So I might, like, limit using him quite a bit. Just because I don't want the other units to lose experience. Okay, that fire is actually quite strong as well. I'm going to keep it like this for now. I'm going to equip that hand axe, though, in case any ranged attack him for whatever reason. Alright, let's give Roy that armor slayer. I give you the armor slayer. I might give him the iron sword as well. 
just for when that rapier cup runs out. I know the rapier is actually strong against army units as well, from what I can remember, but I'm not really bothered about that at the moment. Uh, let's speed this up a bit, because we've seen deck kick some ass already. Yeah, nah. Okay, so he's just wiping them out. So yeah, I'm definitely going to want to move him. I don't want him to kind of like choke all the experience. So I'm going to start moving these guys. They're going to start doing the old Monty Python tactic. Run away! Run away! Okay. Uh, Fanny is level 1, isn't she? Yeah, I'm going to start using her a bit more because I want her to get some levels. Keep her away from the bows, though. I've got a shoot range of this archer. No, she's not good. Because bowmen rip Pegasus Knights to shreds, simply put. Actually, they will get wiped out instantly. Is there any actually armories nearby? Is that an armory? No, it's a fort. There's a fort fort. No, there's no armories. Oh, no, wait. There's one up here. Yeah. All right, I'm going to send Merlinus to go deal with that. Let's go deal with that armory because I'd like some new weapons. All right, well, get moving. My spearmen, get moving. Spearmen. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that. It's really not funny. You might have noticed, but I'm really easily amused. Is there anyone who actually needs healing? Boars are probably fine. Ah, screw it. Let's see how the next turn goes. Lancer, so they just come towards us a bit. Can I talk to any of these guys? I would have thought there would be a conversation I could have. Them. Yep, I can. How you doing? You Roy of the Foray family? Who are you? I'm Dick. I think you've heard the news from an old guy named Marlis. Ah, so you're the leader of a mercenary band. It's just a little group, really. I'm sorry we're late. I didn't think that the battle was already going on. Well, we have our issues. You know, as you do. No, no, we're not blaming you for it. Actually, everyone's all excited and saying they can show off their skills already. Thank you. That is encouraging to hear. Alright then, let's get this battle over with, shall we? Alright. No, I need to be careful what I do here. You can attack him twice, that's probably smart, but can I have a lot of wood dish out some damage beforehand? There you go. And Kishplet! Oh, okay. Nice depressing. Alright, Lance. Can you take out this guy? No, but you can dish out some damage at least. So maybe I'll finally finish this guy off instead. Oh no, because that archer will be able to roam free then. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that archer taken care of. Ah, what if... Hand axe. Okay, so he'll wipe him out easily. Eesh. That hurts. Ooh, that actually hurts him. Okay, so I'm going to kill that archer off with him. You go here. Just kill that archer. He's pissing me off. Oh, if the second one doesn't hit, then... Ah, no! This is a problem. This is a big problem. Actually, it's not a big problem, really. What am I talking about? Okay. I'm pretty sure you can... How much chance do I have to hit? 63%. Mm. See, I'm tempted to make a save state and just try it. No, I'm not going to abuse save states, because that's not part of the game. Well, but then again, I don't actually have much choice of killing the archer now, do I? No, I don't. I'm going to have to either make her run away. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. Alright, I'm not going to attack him with Dick, because simply put, I don't want Dick to get all the experience. I just hold put for now and see what they do. Okay, he's going to range out Ward, that's absolutely fine. I'm pretty sure you're going to do the same, yeah. Okay, so Ward is tanking it, which is great, that's absolutely fine with me. Do they have any more archers up here? How far can you move? Okay, so you're safe to engage. So you can take a big chunk out of this archer. Well, no, you can't actually. Oh, that's depressing. I swear a second ago you could kill him. Oh right, he's moving to the fort. Forts give bonuses. But you forgot about that. Um, you might as well have a go at him. If you can hit him both times. But free damage, not much. But you know, one HP. Alright, um now what we do. Walt, we'll start moving forward. Is she is thing? Is she hurt? She just, yeah, she's hurt. I was gonna say, does she only have ten HP? That's just silly. Marcus, what are you doing? Get lost. Alright, you can cover our escape. You can be a good, loyal, very old knight. Because Marcus comes along at the same time in um, Fire Emblem 7 as well. He comes on very early with the main character. And he's still exactly the same there, where he just chokes down all your experience and just eats you up. Alright, um... I don't actually want you using the rapier. Maybe I'm using the iron sword from that one. Because the rapier is going to be a bit more useful later on, maybe. Especially for choking down those armor units. It's basically a second armor slayer, I think, except it's a bit faster and it has a bit more critical strike. 
Okay, um... Hmm. Who are we sending down to kill this? I'm gonna send Ward down to kill these guys. If he can hit. Yep, he can hit. And he just chunks them on the face. I never understand why the fighters have berets and, like, little tunics. Seems a bit of an odd garment to give them. You'd expect, like, some... Maybe shoulder armor and some bare abs showing. Not that I want that. You know. <laughs> okay. Alright, Rory, you can stand here. But yeah, I might actually use some of the voices as inspiration from inspiration from like characters and TV shows and stuff. Do some impressions as as it were. I've been told my, my I have a voice like no feeling. I don't actually see it myself. I can see it in my impression, sure, but like, I don't actually like walk down the street, talk, and say, "Oh, I've got a voice like no feeling." In person, I'd never notice it. Then again, I don't exactly walk down the street and talk to myself. Actually, no, I do. In fairness, all effect for all purposes, I'm actually sat here talking to myself. No one here, no one listening. Not for now. So, I am a madman. All right, go on, Fanny. Kick his shit in. There you go, with your superhero Pegasus with the mask on there. Yeah. Evil, evil horse. Alright, um, I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna keep him here, because I want... Ele actually, yeah, you can heal him as well. I'm gonna get Ellen to heal a lot of people, because I want to get some experience. Gentle music. Okay, so Elena is a cleric, I believe. Is it a cleric? No, it's a priest. I swear it should be called cleric. Oh, cleric is probably the female version in the later games. But what she does is she's a healer, dedicated healer. She uses staves to heal. She doesn't attack or anything like that. At least not yet. Okay. These are the weapons we have for sale. I'm going to stock up here. Buy... I'm going to buy three iron swords. Uh, two lances. Uh, one javelin. And two iron bows. Actually, I'm going to buy an extra iron sword. Just, just in case. Like... I don't mind having loads of crap equipment as long as everyone has equipment. Because if you run out halfway through the game, you're a bit screwed. So I'm going to be stocking up in shops quite often. Okay, so I'll send you here. I know you're heal on a fort, but at the same time you won't heal fully, so that's okay. Because I want Elen to heal him. Alright, he's going to attack Fainy, isn't he? Oh, that was close. 52% chance. That was actually very close. And she's a very fast unit, she can attack twice. Even against stronger units. Alright. There you go, he shouldn't... Yeah, sure, there you go. He doesn't heal that much, so Ellen still has perfect chance to heal him. <laughs> Some gentle music for you there. Alright, um... I want to lull these guys over rather than charge her first into them. Especially with that archer around. Okay, I'm gonna move a unit there. And that way, I should know. That's a bit dangerous. I don't like that. Okay, you're gonna move here. You're gonna take care of this guy. If it misses, no, it won't miss. 100% chance to hit. And a very slight chance to. I don't want. Because I, I don't want Roy charging the head first because he can. He is basically a glass cannon for the moment. He deals a lot of damage, that's for sure, but he is very squishy. Dick, you can go in. Lance. You can guard Roy. Walt, I want you to get a bit more experience. Get in there, Walt. Crazy bastard. Okay, I'm keeping most of the units I don't particularly care much about at the back. Like, I care about uh, uh, Ellen, don't get me wrong. But she's not really needed as much at the front anyway. Okay, so he's choosing to attack him. He'll have quite a high chance to hit. An Iron Blade, that hurts quite a lot. Please don't attack twice. Oh, good. Mercenaries are some of the cooler units, though, because you don't get them until quite late in... Fire Emblem 7, which is a bit of a shame. I never actually, in my first ever playthrough, I missed the mercenary completely. I didn't know you could recruit him. I was a complete idiot when I played. I was quite young. There was a lot of units I missed, actually. And I I did I did the horrible thing where I used the, pre, the already promoted units very early on, and so I lost loads of experience, which was a, definitely not the best thing to do. All right, you heal up Faini, and I need to tease him over a bit more. He didn't come over for some reason. All right. You I want to come over, so I'm going to put Deck in your line of sight. As for you, I want Ward to finish... No, he won't finish him off there. What if I use that hammer? No, not even stronger. Alright, you go back, Ward. I'm a little worried. Would you be able to take the sword, Baron? Uh, no, you 
won't be able to kill him. Where is the javelin? The javelin's a bit stronger, isn't it? Okay, what are you going to do is you're going to chip away at him. Uh, yeah. There you go. Great. All right, can Roy still move? Yeah, he can. And Roy, you're going to finish him off. There you go. Perfect teamwork. Dump. All right, um, Lance, hide in the forest because you're a pussy. I'm kidding. Lance is the man. Leave it to Lance. What? But I mean, right off, for God's sake. I just want to get that archer to come a bit forward a bit more. All right, I'm actually going to send Roy in here. He will be the bait. There you go. Now you're moving, you bastard. Oh, fuck. I mean, flip. I mean, who cares? That shouldn't kill. No, that, even if the archer can attack me, that shouldn't kill Roy anyway, so I'm absolutely fine. The archer isn't even moving anyway. I feel like that archer isn't going to move until I send my Pegasus up there. All right, Walt, you need a bit of experience. Take him out. With your purple bow. Your green hair. Oh, fantastic. All right, are you okay, Roy? All right, move you forward a little bit more so you can get that archer to come out of hiding. Come on, archer. Really? Yeah, as soon as she gets into range, he's going to come out. All right, just stay just out of range. How do you feel about taking on more? Right, you can take him on. There you go, Archer fight. <laughs> Archers are some of the cooler units in this game. They're, they've got one of the coolest promotes, I think. That's the best way to put it. Oh, he's attacking Roy now. Now you attack Roy, as soon as you get attacked. All right, um... Now Fanny's going to deal with him. Fanny's going to be my anti-Archer unit, you know, I think. Generally, I think that's the best way to get rid of archers is just zoom in and deal with them straight away. Unless it's a big cluster. In which case, I think I've got to leave it to fighters. Alright, um... Now I'll just get Walt to finish him off, I think. After Alain heals up Roy. Oh, nope. He's fully healed. Huh. I thought he got attacked. My bad. You can hear one of these, though, right? Yeah, Walt. I thought so. Right. Oh, God. No, he actually hurt him. Oh, shit. Take care of him. Hey, yeah, yeah. Should have brought Lance up here. Leave it to Lance. <laughs> level up, level up. All right. Uh, Diak. Head this way. Oh God. Ward. Head this way. Where's Lance? Leave it to Lance. Okay. I think we're all prepared to take this guy on. He's not going to move for his, from his position, no matter what. Uh, let's see if Roy can rip him to shreds. Oh, that you can't. Okay, so I'll equip it and then end my turn. You probably have... Yeah, he has a javelin, so I don't want to get too close to him. Um, is there any other units I can heal up? Alright, I can heal up Walt and Roy. Walt and... Whatever his name was again. Ward, that's it. Same as Final Fantasy VIII. I make a lot of references to stuff, and no, I don't explain them really. In fairness, I expect... It seems like I expect my... Damn, just when I thought luck was with me. It seems like I expect all of my fan base to... Fan base? Jesus Christ, I'm like a fucking celebrity already. It seems like I expect most of my uh, viewers to know exactly what I'm talking about all the time. It's a bit... It's a bit judgmental, but... You know. Who gives a fuck? Alright, let's heal him up. I'm throwing him at her in range because I feel like I'm going to be able to finish him off this turn anyway. But in fairness, I only have a slight chance, so I'm being very risky here. Uh, she won't be able to do anything... Hmm. Oh, you won't. No, you can't damage him. Alright, this is what it depends on. If this doesn't hit, then I'm actually screwed. Nah, I'm fine. Sorted. <laughs> that was way too much of a risk. That was a very silly move for me. Uh, greed only brings you ill faith. Oh. Whenever I'm doing voices, I seem to revert to Irish, null fielding, or Russian. Okay, so that's that done. No one else on the map? Yeah, no one else. Time to run into the castle and end the turn. Conquer. Conquer. That is cool. I swear it's cool. I swear it's called Claim or something in the other games. Master I, we have, rec we have rescued a lady trapped in a room in the basement. That must be Ellen's mistress. Have her come here. Merlin's voice. Jesus Christ. Yes! Your Majesty. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to She's going to be around a lot. I'm going to have to think of a voice for her. I might just do my voice slightly more curly. Ellen, are you alright? I never knew you would do such a brave thing for me. You had me worried, Ellen. 
I wanted to rescue you no matter what, so... It's fine, Alan. Thanks to you, I am safe now. I am in your debt. May I ask your name? I'm Roy, son of Elliwood, the Duke of Foray. Ah, uh, yes, and I am... Your Majesty, are you still? It's alright, Alan. My name is... Guinevere. Guinevere? That's impossible. That's the name of the Princess of Bern. Yes, that's who I am. What? Do you plan on attacking us now? Mullinus waits a second. I beg your pardon, Lord Roy, but... I want to speak for her. Give me some time, will you? You bastard. <laughs> Master Roy says so. You are indeed Princess Guinevere from Bern. Yes, I'm not sure if you will believe me, however. Even if you're not the Princess of Bern, I can tell from your actions and your dress that you're certainly of some of high suit of status. But if you're indeed Princess Guinevere, something doesn't seem right. Ellen told me that you intended to meet someone from the Lycia Alliance. Yes, that is correct. Why? If you are the Princess of Bern, I want to find a peaceful way of ending the war. I figured if I could speak to someone from Lycia, I could find some solution. Your brother started this war. It's in your power to stop it. I certainly wish to stop it. No, it must be stopped. I see. Hmm. Stroke my beard. I don't have a beard, but like. Anyway, will you come with us to meet the Lycia Alliance, Alliance army? I want to meet Lord Hector and see what he thinks about this matter. Honestly, you will take me? Yes, if there is a possibility to avoid bloodshed and end this war, then I believe that we must try it, no matter how small the chance. Thank you. Thank you truly. Heart. Less than three. Etc, etc. Playtime. 54 minutes already. Jesus Christ. Whew, this is going to be a long game. Just in the north of the Foray territory stands Castle Arafen. God, these are really testing my pronunciation skills. The Lycia Alliance have gathered here to discuss the matters of going up against Burn. 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 However, when Roy was only a half a day away from Castle Arafen, a messenger brought him news that he could not believe. The message was this, Burn has a trio of elite generals called the Free Dragon Lords, which surprisingly don't actually ride dragons. Well, one of them, I think, does. Two of these three, General Brenya and General Narshen? Why does it show a picture of General Narshen? I guess that's Brenya. They attacked Castle Arafan and nearly decimated the Lycia Alliance army. Oh, there you go. It just showed a picture very quickly and... Oh, fine. Although the morale of the Frey, Frey army went down severely, Roy, Roy, led his troop towards the castle, group even, towards Castle Arafan to find survivors and check the damage. Oh shit, so basically we've been attacked, like wiped out. Well, this is a good war. Late arrival, <laughs> tell me about it, everyone's been destroyed already. Oh well, what can you do? Your Majesty, we have attacked the enemy, we have captured the enemy leader. Oh, fuck, I need to think of a royal voice. Good, bring him before me. You, Zephyr King of Burn. Burn. It's Scottish. This is my tribute to Magama, who is the latest player for Final Fantasy VII. If, you, if you've never heard of Voltage Magama, search Magama, McGamma in YouTube. He is the best Final Fantasy VII. And his Hector voice is brilliant, so I'm going to do, do him I'm gonna do him like him as a tribute. Zephyr, the King of... Oh, fuck, that's terrible. The king. I need to do Scottish. Scottish. Yeah, for you the king of Burn. Damn you. Ah, Lord Hector. I must praise your ability of putting up such a good fight against two of our dragon lords. I suppose they do not call you the leader of the Lycia Alliance for nothing. However, you are not good enough. Pray while you can, for you end here. Why? Why did you do this? Hmm. Burn and Lycia, we are always on good terms with each other. Even when you took the throne. We have always paid our respects towards Burn. Respect? Don't be ridiculous. Lycia, no, this entire continent must go under my rule. That is the only way to liberate this world. I lack the time to be worrying about trivial matters of respect. To liberate this world? What do you mean? This is of no importance to you. You are going to die anyway. Someone take him away. Throw Lord Hector in the dungeon. Yes, sir. Your Majesty, I will now return to the CK planes. Yes, you may be on your way. One thing before I leave, Your Majesty. I beg your pardon, I do not think it's such a good idea to put so much trust into sinister people. Do you mean I do? Yes, our soldiers call her the Dark Priestess, and we do not approve of her presence. 
I understand that she is a shaman of great powers, however, Prenya, do you not have faith in me? Yes, of course I do, Your Majesty. <laughs> if my roommates could hear me now, they must have become like some kind of saucy one-on-one -on -one time with, with myself. I just thought that then all you do is follow my orders, understood? Yes, I will do whatever His Majesty wishes. Do you not have faith in me? Dear, dear, the things I say sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I like Zephyr's voice. He's a good, he's a good, powerful man. He reminds me a bit of Agent Smith mixed in with, I don't know, someone British. So Lord Hector is still alive. Well, that's good news. So I didn't kill him at least. Oh, Chad, he needs to have a chavy voice here. Yes, for sure. I saw some of the burned soldiers take him into castle. That's not, that's not chavy. That's Australian. Chad, was it? All right, he's Australian. It's for now. I guess. Wait, are you guys planning on going in to save Lord Hector? I wouldn't try that if I were you. The bulk of Burns' forces are gone, but there are still a decent number of soldiers inside the castle, you know? It would be suicide to try and charge them out your army. Perhaps. We can't afford to lose Lord Hector. And you said that their main forces are gone, right? Then there's a chance we could win. I see. No, I guess I'll go along too. I could show you around. The castle. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Don't feel pressured. It's absolutely fine. If you could just explain what the interior of the castle looks like. I also want revenge against Burn. Come on, let me go with you. Alright, then I'll be counting on you. Of course, leave locked chest and doors to me. Master Roy, I beg your forgiveness of my brother's doings. I didn't think that he would invade Lycia so soon. My lady, there is no point dwelling over the past. Please do not blame yourself. Besides, Lycia is still intact. Yeah, it's got walls and shit. If we could get our leader, Lord Hector, out of harm's way, we can unite Lycia once again and fight. We must recapture Arsel. Car Arsel? Arsel? Arsel! Castle Arafan for our sakes and for Lelena's sake. Lelena. Can't pronounce her name. Ellipsis. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, now we have a thief. Look at this guy. Chad, the thief. Incredibly weak. Not too great in combat. But they can open locked doors like this one. And this one. And chests like these two. It's a great unit. Great unit to have overall. And I think I am, I feel, I feel like I want to send him this way. I feel I want, I want to check out this village with him. Or maybe I'll send someone else that way. But hey, someone definitely needs to go north, that's for sure. Okay, this is the end of this episode. It has been great recording for you. I'm sorry if it lacked any sort of entertainment value whatsoever. But this is my Let's Play. And I'm just going to play through and enjoy myself. It has been fun having you here. And I will see you guys later.